I recently bought Force of Wills in paper because I really wanted to try Legacy out, and of course I'm going to be playing Mill, and with the power of all eight crabs on my side, I wanted to show you the ups and downs, very similar to Modern Mill, that Legacy Mill has with some very neat additions. Let's hop right into the games. So in the first of two games, I see a decent hand. It's got a Force of Will. I just don't know how much I should mull for now. And speaking of, I get mine forced as well, and I have myself a Ruined Crab. Now, of course, I wanted to play in response to a daze because the second one needs to resolve. They brainstorm maybe looking for some type of interaction because they're likely some type of slow control temple style deck where the Hedron Crab actually has a lot of value. So they play the DRC. I see the Underground Sea, and this is going to be some type of Grixis tempo, Grixis control, whatever it might be. So we're going to expect Orcish Bowmasters along with a plethora of other removal spells. So we have our fetches and we want to develop our island base uh, just so we can grab our Mystic Sanctuaries. Now, I have the other island in hand. I could have saved a fetch for a Mystic Sanctuary, but I just wanted to get aggressive here and mill as much as possible. It does feed the Dragon's Rage Chandler, but ultimately I do have some visions and beyond and I, I need to feed my win condition as well. So I'm going to cycle a fracture Sandy. I find a brainstorm actually in a pretty decent place here. I'm going to play a land and now I can just start throwing out some spells. They can start interacting with me. They play a bow masters. I'm actually going to force it just because I really can't deal with that. And our spell resolves there at 18 cards left. We're in a good spot. What's nice with playing mono blue is that not only is it budget friendly in terms of getting into legacy, but wastelands just don't really affect us. Obviously they grab the mystic sanctuary, but I brainstorm the orcish in response. And then I have visions because the raw card draw is what I'm really looking for. I surgical the force grabbing a bunch out of their deck. They have a days in hand, which is Great, they probably had that from turn one, which is what I was playing around. And the Orcish Bowmaster is going to come down. I find the brain freeze, and this is absolutely nuts what I was able to draw. Now, I'm going to surgical to increase my storm crown, and they're going to daze in response. I surgical the daze to force it out of their hand, and it worked. I brain freeze a bit of overkill here, but we managed to get there exactly almost well, a bit over with our brain freeze. The Orcish Bowmasters doesn't end up mattering. We mill them out and a little bit of smart play ends up getting us there. Let's hop into game number two after opponent calls it. Now, back into game two, I have to mulligan once, which isn't that great. And I did actually end up keeping in Force of Wills against the Force deck, which a lot of people tend to board out. But I think there's some key spells in this deck that I really can't have resolved, like Orcish Bowmasters. So I managed to get my Ponder off, find the two lands that I need. So I'm going to put a Flooded Strand on top, get my third land, and I'm pretty set with my crab. Now, they're going to play an Underground Sea Volcanic Island Pass, and I'm going to play into their counter spell a little bit here. I have the double land. I have the Hedron Crab, and there you go. I'm expecting the Pyroblast. At this point, I'm going to force the Crab will resolve, and I have the Flusterstorm backup in case they have some type of removal, which, I mean, they're playing Grixis. They have to. They have the Pyroblast. I'm going to Flusterstorm, and at this point, I'm not really sure what's going on. I Look, I'm going to Flusterstorm. They're going to Fluster back. And this just gets really confusing. I Didn't they have enough, like, counter spells? Like, did they? I don't know. Like, ultimately, for some reason, the Flusterstorm, my Flusterstorm still countered their Pyroblast. Did my opponent misclick here? Someone let me know in the comment section down below. But regardless, I think that might have won me the game. I'm going to Surgical their Force of Will, Force a Force out of their hand, get myself an island, and hopefully they don't have a daze because I'm going to land in Ashiok. And this is essentially what's going to win me the game. They have no graveyard. Their DRC means nothing. And at this point, they can't search their library, which is actually really valuable against a three-color deck. They have the Pyroblast and for some reason don't take out the Ashiok, which is strange. I guess the Crab provides more value to them. I'm going to activate my Ashiok, play out a Tosh. There's not a great spell in Legacy. You're going to see there in the Exile, um, which I can show, but I do get two Force Wills there. I don't actually go too far. They have the Polluted Delta out, which again, as I'm saying, the Ashiok's static ability is providing a lot of value to me here. Now I'm going to play out the Polluted Delta because again, this isn't like modern where you keep them up for your crabs. Polluted Delta gets Mystic Sanctuary, which gets me spells. They're going to ponder. They're going to try and look for some type of solution here. They're going to play a Delver of Secrets. I'm going to respond, grab my Mystic Sanctuary, and put a draw spell on top. I'm going to put the ponder back on top. Now, Delver hopefully just doesn't flip. I can maybe get a blocker as well, which honestly is what I find. I cast my ponder. I can play around days. I have my Hedron Crab, and I'm going to put that on top, play that out, activate my Ashiok, and just hope 
that they don't flip their Delver. That's the idea here. They can't shuffle with any brainstorm shenanigans off the polluted Delta. They don't flip it. And I'm in a really, really good spot. They play the Bowmasters and ping down my Ashiok. That's fine. They got to play a Bowmasters proactively. That's a lot of value against the Brainstorm deck. Now, I actually managed to mill them to 10 cards and a Polluted Delta finds nothing. I find myself a Mystic Sanctuary. I'm going to hold that up. Uh, well, I'm going to do it now for a Mystic Sanctuary and put the Ponder back on top. Do that now while they have one card left in their hand i'm pretty good i'm at 13 life i'm pretty healthy they're going to pollute a delta to see what the rest of the library is give it a good shuffle and then really i don't know what they're going to do here at this point they're at three cards left they play out on murktide region i guess just to force me to have a land off the top which is fair but i'm gonna ponder there is no way i don't find a win here so that's exactly what we do we overkill them we keep the fetch and that's fine. He can ping me for one. We find the dub here. Let's go to game number two. Going into game number two, have a pretty solid hand. There's no interaction here, but I mean, a couple of brainstorms, especially on the play, might be able to find me something in response to something crazy. Flooded Strand pass. Looks like I'm playing against another blue deck and that's okay. That's okay. I don't need a brainstorm. I need to, don't need to do anything now. Now I'm not going to play around the days. I'm going to force it out early actually. Um, because I do have a lot of action here. So let them have that. And then I'm kind of just up on resources. That's my thinking anyway. But let's see how far the up on resources plan pans out for me. Underground C, they grief me and it looks like Demir scam. Now I'm going to try and hide some spells away. Brain freeze and my other brainstorm. Notably, in this case, they can grab my surgical. And uh, if they want to reanimate it, which they don't, they can grab one of the Maddening Cacophony. It's not great targets, but in this case, I'm able to protect some of my vital spells. So play the Fretted Strand, pass. I can Brainstorm Shuffle away the Cacophonies because Demir Scam probably, as many of you guessed, is going to have a very similar matchup to the Scam matchup in Modern. It's going to be a little tough. Uh, we managed to find a Forcible. We're going to pitch it out to the reanimate, but they have a force of will as well. And at this point, I'm just going to get out the brain freeze for value because you know what? It storms for five at this point. I'm going to get 15 cards in yard. They're going to reanimate one of them, but there's a fair amount that's going to go into their graveyard and they fetch, which replaces the kind of grief coming out. So they have exactly enough. If I can top deck a visions of beyond, then I'm in a pretty good spot. They have two cards in hand and I'm not going to be able to block the grief. And that's actually really relevant here. The menace is really powerful. They play their third land. They swing in. Thankfully, no other triggers. It's not like they're taking my cards away um, based on what's, you know, based on the attacks of the grief, which is nice. I draw a brain freeze. They play a polluted delta. This draw ghost stuff is really frustrating. In legacy, there's a lot of powerful top deck interactions. The brain freeze is absolutely insane here. So I think I'm pretty far behind um, and I'm going to throw out a Tasha's see what happens. But the force of will is found. They managed to find the interaction they have now they're top decking, which is great. Now, ideally, the spells I top deck from here can hopefully help me win. I throw out another Tasha's to see if that works and it does. It's just only eight cards mill. This is the card that I feel like I want to replace the most. I just don't think Tasha's is any good at all. It's really good against lands. I'll say that against a deck with a lot of zero CMC. Now I have the surgical and I'm going to try and creep that for the kind of brain freeze, just triggering that up as high as possible. Now I have really one turn left here. I take the reanimate. I'm going to try and force some interaction, but really I should have just gone for the force of will. They have one in hand and just not great. The cards that they have in hand, I'm going to throw out a brain freeze. Honestly, this is going to be an L. We're just going to go to game two and see what we can do here. Uh, play Misty Rainforest. That can only mill me six. Mystic Sanctuary puts on top. Let's just go to game two. Sideboarding. Game two against Scam. I'm actually going to keep this hand. I'm on the play. I can do some brainstorm stuff. I have the days up. There's a lot of things I can interact with. I'm keeping this solely off of land days, especially if they scam me. Um, I can't really win off a double scam here, but we're going to pass right through. We're not going to fetch. We'll fetch now because we kind of need to find like other spells. And we do manage to find something. So we managed to find another land, which is great. We're going to play that out to play out our crab. They don't interact with any of that, which is kind of nice. But I do have days and forcible backup for any like random shenanigans they want to do. So I am going to daze the fatal push away. They seem to hold some type of value to the crab being out, which is kind of strange considering they're a reanimate deck. But hey, they have a way sign out. It's not going to have any value right now. Again, being mono blue is great. I play out uh, my island here. I don't want to play out my force just yet. I'm trying to hold that for the Mystic Sanctuary. It seems like. I need to force as much value as possible. The Bowmasters comes out. I'm going to force it and they force back. And 
Honestly, this is probably where I start losing. I take the force of will out of their deck, one out of their hand. I see that they have a grief. Unfortunately, again, as I just mentioned, I think this is where I start losing the game. They may not have hard counter spells available, but the wasteland is going to be very frustrating. They're going to start swinging in. I'll block the bow masters in case they are able to get out another, you know, kind of boost to that orc army. But I'm going to play out my land here, play out my Ashiok and see if it has any value here. Now, unfortunately here, the force of will that I originally targeted, I didn't realize was a force negation. And that's why I'm kind of saying this out now. I originally surgical the force negation thinking it was force of will. It was not force of will. It was very frustrating to still have that there. A lot of things not working for us. And it was just a good call by our opponent. Now we ponder, we shuffle. We're just not finding the cards we need. We're finding a lot of land heavy stuff, not a lot of draws. And I'm actually opting to go aggressive with the Scalding Tarn. I'm trying to deck thin. I'm trying to get get through and mill them because ultimately if I can top deck like a visions or something then I can just come back maybe on like raw card draw but that's the plan there I don't think a mystic sanctuary slowing myself down with the force in their hand is really going to get me anywhere and this is a really down bad situation I got a surgical the grief out of their hand they have the force of will they have the surgical to protect it as well honestly based on their hand it's not looking too good I have no resources whatsoever I'm taking two damage a turn and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to Mystic Sanctuary for something, and it forces out the Surgical, which is nice. But they still have Ponder Force, and you're gonna see here they actually end up pondering because why not? You can get yourself a Force target if you need to. And I'm at three. If they find some type of valuable spell here, they're gonna be able to get there. And at this point, the Wasteland does have some type of value. They might as well use it. I have a Surgical, and technically I'm alive. I could have just gone through with the turn, but I just didn't see this being a winning game at all. But you'll see the Feast and Famine of Mo or not Modern Mill, Legacy Mill, pretty powerful. More games to come on the channel.